This help video is brought to you by Webzine Online. If you'd like to visit their website, it's www.webzineonline.com. Okay, today we're going to learn how to create a post and place images on that post left, center, and right. All right, so you want to log into the back end of your um, WordPress site. Go to Posts, Add New. Okay, the first thing we want to do is get a title in there. We're just going to title this one, Another Test Post. Okay, that's, uh, um, that's all we're going to title that, okay? Um, it'll get placed in a category usually automatically, but um, um, you can place it if they've got multiple categories. You can place it in the category you want over here on the side. I'm going to place it in News. There's no other category, so it would have placed itself in News anyway. All right? So the next thing I'm going to need is some text. So I've got some sample text already out here. I'm just going to place that text in, paste it as plain text. All right. Then at the top of the page here, I want to be able to place an image to the right first, okay? I want to go, um, well, let's go to the left. Let's go left, center, right, okay? So first off, I'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of the paragraph right to the left of the L. See right here? I'm going to put my cursor there. Then I'm going to go to Upload, Insert, and click it. Now, I don't have anything uploaded, but I do have some files on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop. Let's see, there's my files, and I'm just going to grab this file right here. Take just a second to get it up there. All right. Now, the first thing I can do here is note, you notice you can see the dimensions of the file and everything about it, and the title. I can change the title if I want at this point, and the the default caption, description, and the link URL. Now here's what's important. This link URL, if it says attachment in it, if it's the attachment post URL, it goes to a page with the picture attached to the page. But I want to pop it up in a light box which which comes up in the window, you know, by itself in front of the post. I don't want them leaving my page to go to it. So I'm going to use the file URL. That's what's important about that. At the end of the file URL, notice how it says JPEG. That's what makes the difference. So if I wanted to go to an attachment page, I would use attachment, but some templates don't use it. So um, the, in this instance, I want it to go to a file URL. I'll show you the attachment in the next one, okay? Now I want to center it to the left and I want it to be medium 300 by 2, 225. I don't want a large full-size image on the left. It, there'll be no place for the, for the text. All right, so I'm going to insert this into my post. All right, there's my image right there. Now I'm going to drop down, oh, about that far, and I'm going to insert one in the center now. So I'm gonna, I put my cursor at the end of this paragraph and then entered one time to drop it down. Okay, then I'm going to go up to my add media or upload insert. I'm going to select my file. My file uploads and it's also attaching to the page in the background or the post is what's really cool. So. All right, now, if, now remember you can name it, do whatever you want to it, but on this one, I'm going to have it come up in the attachment page so you can see the difference. I'm going to have it go to the center, and I want it still, I'm on full size on this one. Okay, so I'm going to insert this into the post. All right, there it is. Now I'm going to drop down a couple more, right to about here would be good. On the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to place an image this time to the right, okay? So right in front of this paragraph right here, I want the image to be over here on this side, okay? So I'm going to place my image or my cursor right in front of the left side of the paragraph. I'm going to upload, insert. I'm going to select a file. 
Notice how the gallery up here is loading. It's got two images in it. It'll have three now. See, it's got three images. Um, it, it actually puts the images, attaches them to this post, like I was saying. So you could reuse them on a post or reuse them back and forth. Okay, this one, once again, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do anything, but the link URL, I want it to pop up in my in my light box, so I'm gonna use the file URL. I'm gonna tell it to the right. I'm gonna tell it medium. I'm going to insert it into my post. All right, at this point, I'm going to save my draft. And preview my post. Notice how this image is sitting on the left side. And when I click it, it pops up in my light box showing the image you know larger so it, it'll it'll have to download here there it is okay so it's showing the image a little larger you can scroll up and down and see it if I click off of it it drops back now this image here comes up in a attachment so when I click it it actually goes to another page and look here's the here's the 800 by 600 image of it the full size image on the page see that Let's go back now. Okay, here's my image on the bottom that's on the left. And it comes up in a light box also. See that? All right. That's how you attach images to a post, to the left, to the right, and to the center. And at this point, I would place tags in my post down here. And then what a tag is, is, is it's a reference to the post, basically, of something to do with the post, something important. Like, this was a test post, so I'd put test. Then I would put a comma. This separates the um, tags. The next thing, I, I'm just having fun, so I'll put having fun. Notice I used two words in that one. Well, well, the what the two words do is is creates a tag called having fun. The test is just test. The commas between is what separates the tags. Do you understand? You under, understand that, I'm sure. All right. That's about all there is to it at this point. I like my post. Everything looks good, so I'm going to publish. All right. Let's view the post. And everything came up just like I put it together. If I click on the images, they pop up in a light box. The two images. And this one goes to a, a image URL, which is actually an attachment page. Alright? Alright, that concludes creating posts with images. I hope this helped.